just want the sunshine to come back. It's been gray the last couple days, and it's calling for rain for the next, like, three days. And the road in here, we're at the Ironwood National Monument. The road in here is nice to get in when it's dry. It's a dirt road, but it's the kind of dirt road that if it gets wet, it's going to turn into mud. And we were walking down the street, down that way, and there is definitely, like, huge rivets in the road from it looks like somebody tried to drive in it after it rained. But I think I'm going to leave Ironwood because it's supposed to rain and I don't want to get stuck. All right. We're going to head into town, Tucson. And hang out in town for a couple of days while it storms. morning we just woke up at the Cracker Barrel we are going to go get a coffee we're just gonna go to Dunkin Donuts today because it's right across the street which is really nice and then we're gonna go do laundry I have to get groceries today and water and we're just gonna hang out in town it is so rainy it's supposed to rain all day today say bye to all our neighbors there was a lot of people who stayed here last night with me Also, I think tonight, if I can, I want to sleep kind of where this truck is because it'll be like kind of blocking the highway because the highway was pretty noisy, if I have to say so myself. Take the next right onto North Cracker Barrel Road. Right? Okay. This seems like the opposite direction of which I need to go, but all right. In 800 feet, turn left onto Arizona Pavilions Drive. Okay. Thanks, Nance. Someone asked me what this rattling noise is. If you guys can hear it. It's my um, teapot on top of my stove that rattles when I drive. It's really annoying. I'm parked in between two spots, so that's cool. We have finished our laundry. Okay. Alright, that was a big truck. Alright, let's find out where we're going. We're gonna go get some Chinese food for lunch and then go sit at a park. I was gonna go get groceries, however. I didn't realize my Jackery is completely dead, and so my fridge is not on. And so it'd be real stupid to go get all new groceries and then not have a fridge to put them in. So, we're gonna get lunch, go hang out at the park. It's already like 1 p.m. 
I swear my hair is just getting bigger and bigger as the day goes on because of this rain. But the park that we're going to go to is only two minutes down the road from here, which is why I picked this Chinese food place because it was so close to the park. Um, they have a dog park, covered pavilions, not that we'll be hanging out outside very much, but it's nice to know that I'll have somewhere to go walk Joey. Um, I'm sure he is just dying to get out of the car at this point. Uh, so let's go to this park, get all settled in, get everything put away. I need to make the bed, which is like the most annoying thing in a minivan because there is no room. And so I don't know if you guys can even see all the stuff back here. So it's all my pillows and blankets and stuff, but it's also all of the stuff that I normally put in my front seat when I'm just like chilling somewhere. I usually like move stuff from the front to the back, which is... I just need a bigger space at this point. Um, you guys, you guys know. I've talked about this so many times, but maybe if I say it in a video again, um, because I get questions on every single video that I put out there about my van that I was working on, not last summer, the summer before. So it's been like a year and a half since I've left that van, and I just think that I need to publicly say that that van is donezo. We will no longer be participating in that van. Um, and that happened like eight months ago. We got rid of it. Um, it was just a lemon. That is uh, what's going on with that van. I know I've had a lot of questions about it and I know I've answered it a few times but I'll put it in another video and so hopefully everybody knows what's going on. That van is donezo. I am still not financially recovered from that situation, so it is a little, hurts my heart a little bit to think about and talk about, but yeah. Here we are, still in the minivan, loving it. I would still love a bigger space. I'd love to be able to stand up. I'd love to have a sink inside so much. I would love to have a sink inside so I could do my dishes inside and brush my teeth inside and do all the things that require like washing my hands. It would be so nice to have a sink to wash my hands with. <sighs> the little things. <laughs> the little things that I miss like being able to shower more often. Like I cannot wait to have a bigger rig that has a shower even though it takes up a lot of water. I don't care. <laughs> One day. So anyways, Let's go to this park. Okay. Ooh, look at how much parking there is. That's so nice. There's like nobody here because it's rainy. <laughs> yes. Hey, Joey. You all wet? It was raining outside. I know. I'm sorry. We're going to go get a bath tomorrow. They have a self-service dog wash. So we're going to go there tomorrow. I was going to go today, but I think it wouldn't make any sense since it's raining. And you're going to get all gross going outside. So we got the bed made. That was a, that was something. Like, just look at this. This is laundry that I just finished washing. But got the dog food, my water bottles that are empty that I need to fill tomorrow, my yoga mat, some toilet paper. I also have my thing of dishes and Joey's dog bed. And that is usually sitting right here when we're driving. And so that ends up in the front. It is such a freaking mess in here. Oh my God. And so while we're sitting in the rain after I eat my broccoli and garlic sauce. Oh my gosh. I just feel like it's never ending. Like it is a never ending process of cleaning this. Take the 
next left onto North Cracker Barrel Road, then turn right. Hey, Joey. <laughs> Are you stuck back there with all the groceries? We're gonna head out. Just got done with Walmart. It was insane, per expectations. But we just need to get water, and then we're gonna actually drive to Ajo um, and meet up again with Sarah and Erin. <sighs> Hopefully, I can get enough sun to charge up my Jackery a little bit so I can get some work done and also to have my fridge on. I did get some ice to keep things cold until I can get my fridge running. <sighs> All right, let's head out. I just need to go get water. It's like a 13 minute drive to the Watermill Express. And I do believe they had like a Primo water filler inside of the Walmart, but it is so chaotic. And the idea of getting all of my jugs together and <laughs> trucking back inside Walmart is it's not happening. So we're going to go to the Watermill Express and then we're going to head out. Well, we made it to Ajo and it is absolutely beautiful. There are so many cactus and mountains surrounding us. Sarah and Erin made it and we're gonna be spending the next week or so here. I'm so excited. So I think this is where I'm gonna end this vlog. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, definitely subscribe below. I'll also put a link for my Patreon in the description box in case you're interested in checking that out and helping support my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!